It was a large and lively crowd at the finish line of stage three. And for the riders from the roundabout at Hatter Fort Hotel, the final two kilometres took them uphill to the finish line, a stunning backdrop of the Hajar Mountains. And it was a mass sprint, which went to Marcel Kittel of the giant Shimano team. And afterwards, I was able to ask him how he felt with his back-to-back wins. Yeah, I'm uh, very happy about the win today. And... um... I have to say a big thank you to my team that they did an incredible job by uh, yeah, keeping me out of the wind and uh, bringing me into a very good position into the last climb so that I could um, go for it and uh, make it over the top. The last two kilometres from the roundabout up to the finish line, a bit, bit of a climb, not quite what you experienced in the Tour de France. How was this climb? Yeah, <laughs> for me as a sprinter it's always a, always a big fight and today it was honestly a 50-50 chance if I would make it. Uh, but I'm. But I was. Yeah, I can be happy with my with my shape, with my legs, and that helped me today. So from the desert, the mountains, back to the city tomorrow, three in a row. How do you feel? Um, first of all, I feel uh, confident. I know that my legs are good. I know that my team is uh, 100% motivated, and tomorrow we will go for the sprint, and uh, hopefully it will be it will be a win. Of course, it is a team sport, isn't it? As you keep telling us about your team. Yeah, it, it is. A, it is a team sport. Um, without my team, I would not be able to um, to win those races. Uh, that's a fact. And um, I enjoy being together with my team on the road the whole year round and uh, having fun with the boys. They are like a second family actually because I'm so much away. And yeah, sure, that's great. Sure. Sure. And the final thing. I mean, it's a start to 2014. A big year ahead of you. What's going to be your goals when it comes to the big tours? <laughs> yeah, for me, the the main goal for 2013 will be again the Tour de France to go for stage wins. And up next for the BMC team, stage one winner, Taylor Finney. Okay, official radio station to my eye. Congratulations, still holding the key jersey, the blue jersey. How was today the mountain stage for you? Uh, today was definitely taxing. You know, it's a day that I was uh, a little bit nervous for in the beginning. Uh, definitely the, the queen stage. And um, no, I was, I was quite happy with the way my legs felt and with the way that the team rode. You know, we had Klaus Lodewick, uh, sure. Rick Zabel, Sebastian Lander. They kept the kept the speed up really high all day and and, uh, and, and made sure the race was contained for, for me in the final and to keep me safe. So couldn't have asked for any more from the team. And uh, it was just down to me and my legs in the last couple of climbs. And I was really happy to be able to follow the... Moves. And for our viewers who can't say, you have mighty powerful legs. So tomorrow, good luck with the event back in to yeah. the city of Dubai. Thank, thank, thank you, guys. Marcel Kittel, the winner of today's stage. We're going to bring you the presentation in a few moments' time.